Good morning, Jim Hodges here, Buddy here. Wanted to make a video resource guide, of course, on the obedience commands, our actions, our praise, our consequence, and the hand signals that we use, and the methods of consequence and the methods of praise. Remember, praise is good words, good touch. Sometimes it can be a treat, okay? Sometimes not. We don't want to lure Buddy with a treat to do what we ask. The treat is a reward for something done well. I call it manna from heaven. So he's not working for the treat, he's working because we asked him to do. You saw, I don't know if the video caught it, Cat just walked by, he's still very enamored by cats. But guess what, we can now manage the situation and by our management, by our consistency, that's gonna improve over time. I truly believe it, okay? So, here we go. We're gonna start doing the uh, let's go command. The let's go command when we walk is to keep Buddy here or behind us. There's two reasons for that. One, when he's here, he can always see us. We're a good checks and balance to what he's doing. If he's out in front of us, he sees a cat, we're not there to balance out what's going on. He may act on that cat. But when he's beside us and see the cat, he knows we're a part of the equation and he must control himself. The other thing is when he's out in front, uh, he's the leader. Leaders lead, followers follow. We want to keep him here so we can demonstrate we're the leader. Maybe one day you will know that you can allow him to walk in front of you if you're comfortably in control as the leader of the pack. And more importantly, he knows you're comfortably in control. So you gonna hear me? Let's go. Now, add a boy. As soon as he starts to go with me, I'm going to praise. I'm going to pay. Good boy. If I turn, he's got to go with me. If he does it, I'll tap the leash pretty much parallel to the ground in the direction I want him to go. The, good boy. The important thing is, is to praise him and love him when he see his tail. To love him uh, when he does right. Praise is so big for Buddy. Buddy loves to praise. We want to make sure that the time comes that we have to consequence that we bite him and move on. We don't want him to start feeling despondent or uh, the least bit intimidated by our correction. Let's go. Here, my boys. He's got to walk with me. I'm not going to let him up in front. Cat in front. He stops. There's never, ever a time he can pull on the leash again, okay? If he started to pull on the leash, I would tap back in the direction. As soon as he starts to come to me, I would praise him, okay? So you're walking down the street. You see someone you want to talk to. You don't have to put him in obedience command. You can put him in obedience command to start, but what you do is you just hold your ground. Loose leash. We always have a loose leash. If he starts to pull, we would tap. Good boy, okay? The next thing is the SIT command. The hand signal is like this, and when we tell him to SIT, he must sit and he must hold it until we release him. Let's go. Sit. Now he's in a sit command, okay? Now he has to hold that sit until I release him. Break. Good boy. Now, what happened if he started to get up from the sit? I would take my leash, slack, tap, and release. And when I tap the leash, I would go, ant or no. That symbolizes the bite in the dog world. No. And this way, when he hears the word no in the future, he knows that he's doing something wrong because you've physically bitten him many times before, okay? I don't keep a big dog in a sit command for a long time. The reason being is I worry about their hips and the strain it puts on them. I might keep them in it for 30 seconds or a minute. If a dog is really inclined to sit for long periods of time on its own, I may actually do it longer, but normally 30 seconds to a minute. If uh, I'm going to have them there longer than that, I'll put them in a down, I'll put them in a place, or I'll break them. And you remember the rule is they just can't pull on the leash, even in a break situation. Let's go. Sit. Good boy. Now, one of the things Buddy will do in the beginning is because he's loving, he wants to do the right thing, he might scoot up on this sit. Be aware of that. If he does something once, he's going to do it over and over again. If he started to scoot up, we'd immediately no, sit, and then praise again. Now we're going to do the D-O-W-N from the front. Down. I just wanted to show you he knows hand signals as well. That is the down from in front. Just as with the sit, 
he has to stay in that down position until we release him. Guess what? I'll leave him in a down longer than I would the sit because that is much more comfortable. But the other good thing about the down is it signals we're the leader. When we put a dog in the down, it's the most submissive position he can be placed in. And when he does that willfully for you, that means he's recognizing you as the leader. So you saw that. If he didn't do it, I would loose leash, I would stand up, tap towards the ground. No, no, down. And when I'm tapping, I'm saying no. Once he downs, I'll praise him and tell him good boy. Okay, so that's the DOWM from the front. <sighs> Notice how I pulled up the leash. This is the hand signal for come. Come on leash is for him to come and sit right in front of us. When I step off, he has to hold that command, okay? But come is here. When he gets here, he sits, you praise him and love him. If you want to give him a treat, feel free to give him a treat. Sometimes he likes them, sometimes he doesn't. The more stressful the situation, the more likely he's going to repel or not want the treat. Be aware of that, okay? Break. Break is the release command. When I release him, he can do anything he wants as long as he does not pull the leash. He can never, ever, ever pull the leash again. Sit. Good. Break. Sit. Good boy. Down. See how he's responding to the hand signal before I gave the word? Again with the C-O-M-E. Good boy. Break. When, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't get crazy. Good boy. So you see, I was nice to him. He just got a little excited, got the leash wrapped around his head. So I just wanted to tap very easily. Good boy. The other thing about praise, anytime he's doing something you like, I don't care if he's laying there sleeping on the floor. Praise him and love him. We have to praise him 20 times more a day, if not a bunch more, than we do consequence. We want to be engaging. We want to, him to want to be a part of what we do. Okay? Very, very important. Let's go. Come back around. Sit. No hand signal then. Now the D-O-W-N from the side. Down. Good. Same thing. He has to hold it. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Ah, right, there you go. Now, it looked like he thought I was getting ready to go for a walk and he started to move. As soon as he realized it, he went down. Be aware that you vary your training sequence from time to time because he can start to anticipate what you want. We don't want him to anticipate. We want him to pay attention. Now, if you didn't have cats uh, all around like we have right now, he'd probably be focusing a lot more on you. Break. Good boy. Uh, another command I like to do is the huff command. The huff command is like loading him up in your truck or car. Sit. Huff. a boy. We load him into the car after he pauses. You don't have to make him sit, but you just don't want him to freely run and jump up into the vehicle. The reason being is you don't, you can never control the accidents that may occur when you're not wanting to load in the vehicle. Uh, sitting and waiting before he gets in is always, uh, uh, to me, the best way to lead into it. He has to understand he can't get in the car unless you tell him to. Good boy. Break. So that was huff, that was load up, whatever the case may be. The next thing is the place command. I'm going to point to his bed. This bed primarily is inside, but it can be outside as well. He's looking at the kitty cat. I've got my hand out. If I feel him pull, I'll tap it parallel to the ground. Ah, no. Good boy. And as soon as I feel him give, I praise. You remember, after every consequence, we praise. Play. Good boy. No, no, no. Place. Now, why did I bite him? He went and got on the bed, but where was where did his front feet go? They came off. I want him on the bed. He can lay down, sit down, stand up, read a book, do whatever. He needs to be completely on the bed. No. Place. Good boy. He's got to stay there. I don't care if cats are around or what the case may be. He has to hold it. Right. So, anytime he does something wrong, I try to go back and repeat that command. Typically at least once and sometimes twice. Play. Good 
Do it again, we'll come from a different angle. Play. Good boy. And now one of the things that I just noted, right, in our training, you know how I was just talking about pattern training? You notice when I came from this side, he went right on. It could be very well possible that when Rachel and I were working it, we never came from that side. But he has to learn to do it. So we're going to come from this side again. Play. That a boy, good boy. Very important that we try to give that positive feedback when he's doing something. In fact, you can almost look at him and see if you go back and rewind the video. Over here, he was pretty comfortable about hitting the place. Over here, he was a little unsure. Dogs learn in environments or scenarios. What do I mean by that? I mean when you're in your house and your dog is obeying you, great. But when the doorbell rings, what happens? He goes crazy. Because he learned to go crazy, it become, becomes a conditioned response. I typically tell people that when dogs encounter a situation for the first time, they go back to their raw behavior, what their existing behavior was before training. When, uh, when they've learned something in the background, like running to the door and greeting someone, that becomes a conditioned behavior as well and he defaults to that until we reteach. When we're working with a dog teaching a new behavior, typically we need to do it at least 40 to 50 times for him to start to understand, okay? Right, good boy. He actually will do this place. Now we don't, as hot as it's been, we're not out here doing a place for an hour or two outside, but he'll do the place inside with us while we're watching television, reading, working with another dog for easy an hour at a time. And it's interesting because the cats inside are less of a problem than the cats outside. But the cats outside are running and clawing on logs and jumping on trees. And it's almost like they think they're doing their job for us and being the official testers that they need to. And you notice his focus is still there, okay? The big thing is we're starting to manage it and it will get better and better. So I'm not gonna pet him profusely while he's looking at the cat, but if he looks at me, at a boy, I will praise him, okay? That's pretty much where we are right now. As I uh, would allude to, this is eight days worth of a training. Uh, this is a great start. We're building a fantastic, ah, no. And I also, no, don't like a dog smelling the ground. The reason I don't like a dog smelling the ground when I'm working with him is because you never know when you're walking down the street or something Somebody spilled something, somebody dropped something that your dog doesn't need to put in his mouth. Break. But he's been here for eight days and he's done good. He's got a good foundation, he's got a lot of work. Work with him for a few minutes at a time right now, build on success. And then if you do that, get to a point that we're working about 10 minutes at a time. We're doing this late morning uh, when we're working. It's been so brutally hot, definitely don't do a uh, a long term of working with him as hot as it's been when it's up in the 90s and you're dripping sweat. He's breathing heavy right now, but it is important he do what we ask. I hope this helps. Jim Hodges, Jim Hodges Dog Training. You can find me on Facebook by typing in Jim Hodges Dog Training and my number is 336-945-3232. I really appreciate it. I'm always here for you and for Buddy. All you have to do is give me a call. Take care and thank you very much. Great. Good boy.